Godemis will be presenting on Bronfen Brenner's bioecological theory. This theory was formulated in the year 1979 by Yuri Bronfen Brenner, a famous developmental psychologist. This theory seeks to explain how a child's immediate and surrounding environment affects the way in which the child grows and develops. According to Sandra 2005, the five systems in Bronfen Brenner's ecological theory are the microsystem, mesosystem, exosystem, macrosystem, and chronosystem. The microsystem. The microsystem is defined as the pattern of activities, roles, and interpersonal relationships experienced by a developing person in a particular setting with particular physical and material features and containing other persons with distinctive characteristics of temperament, personality, and systems of belief. It is the layer closest to the child. It comprises structures in which the child has direct interactions with social agents such as home, school, and community. The development here is bidirectional, that is, the family and school influence the development and the teen in turn influences the family and the school. As the teen moves from one setting to another, relationships may change. One microsystem, such as neighborhood, may be a venue where he or she flourishes, and another, such as the school, may be a location where he or she feels stifled, lost, and stigmatized. Understanding youth in the clinical context requires information about activities, roles, and relationships in each microsystem. This knowledge provides insight into social and emotional function. The meso system. This system involves personal relationships. This layer serves as the relationship between two or more microsystems. Example, interaction between parents and teachers. The positive interface of these interactions is a source of support for the adolescent. Students whose parents are involved in their schools have higher aspirations and commitments to lifelong education, and they are more likely to avoid high risk behaviors, are more involved in school or community activities, and are more likely to avoid school problems. The adolescent needs the interaction between these two important spheres of their life to achieve greater adjustment. If the important people in the adolescent's life know each other, they feel more secure and more supported. If a parent and a teacher come together to discuss a student's progress, the student is aware that they care about them and they hold them accountable. The adolescent understands that there will be discussion, information sharing, and dialogue between the members of the two microsystems. Pepper, in 1994, stresses the importance of the adolescent to invite friends into the home that members of each microsystem know each other, and that they also know the roles that each has in the developing person's life. Adolescents are happier when friends are comfortable with family and the family is at ease with, with their friends. Understanding and supporting promote communication between a teen's microsystems and avoid possible distrust, animosity, or disregard from members from separate microsystems. Greater knowledge and trust across each microsystem enhances adolescent functioning. Activities, roles, and relationships a teen has in one microsystem and how these support or undermine his or her development in another microsystem. Helping the youth understand the similarities and differences in how he or she operates in each microsystem will improve his or her social functioning. 
Additionally, modifying the environment can help the individual be successful in a different or new microsystem. Exosystem. This is described as the environment that affects how one develops that is out of their control. It's also viewed, viewed as the social settings in which the adolescence does not have an active role but which influences the adolescent's experiences. Now let's consider an example whereby a parent has lost his or her job and how that may affect the adolescent. The adolescent can become extremely depressed or overwhelmed. Some may even harbor thoughts of suicide and even commit it. Studies have also shown that adolescents who feel neglected at home may engage in risky behaviors in society, such as sexual activity, substance abuse, cigarette smoking, preventable injury, and violence, including self-harm, all of which may have significant repercussions for his or her development. Macrosystem this is known as the largest and most distant places and people that have significant influence on the individual. It is also known as the culture in which the adolescent live. Culture refers to the behavior patterns and beliefs and all other products of a group of people that are passed on from one generation to the next. Now let us consider an adolescent in a rural community versus an adolescent in an urban community. An adolescent in a rural community may have a reserved lifestyle they may not be exposed to a wide variety of social activities. Some of them may tend to be shy and reserved. Um, the way of life may surround going to church, going to uh, maybe one or two community activities, and then back to home. Whereas there is a complete contrast exists for those adolescents who live in urban communities. These adolescents are exposed to a wide variety of social activities and community programs. These these programs may positively or negatively impact the development of these adolescents. The chrono system. The chrono system is made up of the pattern of events and transitions that occur throughout a child's life, including any socio-historical events. For example, divorce is a non-normative life transition. In studying the effects of divorce on children, Researchers have discovered that the negative effects often have a greater impact in the first year after the divorce. By two years after the divorce, family interaction is less chaotic and more stable. What implications does this have for an adolescent? Regarding socio-cultural circumstances, adolescent girls today are much more likely to be encouraged to pursue a career than they were 20 or 30 years ago. So let's consider Bronfen Brenner's bioecological theory in the life of an adolescent. Here's the scenario. Each day after school, Jonathan frequents the national park. He also spends time in a variety of other settings such as his home and mother's place of work. They are all influenced by interactions and processes. For example, at school, his parents would attend parent-teacher conferences with which Jonathan does not interact, both whose actions nevertheless impact his experiences within these contexts. Finally, Jonathan and all of his contexts exist within and are influenced by the larger community culture. I hope you were able to identify the different stages from that scenario. So this theory presents the child development within the context of relationship system that comprise the child environment.